a dream. Cut from the cloth for me to switch the sweet parties, have my nights unraveling at the seams. Cause it seems the, the end scenes of new jeans change accordingly to BET videos. Snapback hats, members only jackets, and we so fashion forward, but all we do is dress like it's 25 years ago. Mix matching colors like pinks with yellows, blues with purples, frames with no lenses, cause now it's cool to be seen in Hugh Urkel. <laughs> And then you got the dudes with the Jesus piece, and here's the real crisis. Surround their necks while they flash their gas, and they claim they know who Christ is. And what do I do? I just always make sure I'm up on the new swag. Accessories made of rhetorical questions like, what would Jesus do if he knew he was just a new fad? He'd probably resurrect Michael Jackson so he could tell Dirty Diana to look at him now. Because Michael Jackson set the bar, but somehow we lowered it down for Chris Brown. <laughs> play crap on the radio and they play it ten times an hour until we like it. And then we go circle release dates so we can go line up and literally buy shit. And I'm just as responsible, but I've never admitted it because I was too damn proud to stand up against this rap culture that we've been forced fed for too long now. I've been more involved with the problem and even less with the solution. But the soldier boy and walk the flame, I'm just adding to hip hop's pollution. Mm. <laughs> because lately, rap has been degrading as women out of all genres way more than most. I know that. And that's why I've never called my girl a bitch, but I've gotten too damn close. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> my girl is like a fire. A ruler measuring the temperature most closest to the sun. So that's why I tell my little brother, it doesn't make your man have lots of women. It just shows how many you need to feel like one. Uh. What kind of little boys are we allowing to influence grown men one day state at a time? Because we kill snitches and fuck bitches. It's all okay and shit rhymes, right? right. Uh. Runaway slaves to rap culture so quick to forget the past behind them. Oblivious that a noose is still a noose, especially when it's laced in black diamonds. Uh. But the thing is, I still listen to Lil Wayne. Blue Big Gasco. Yeah, I fuck with Jersey Drake. <laughs> but all I have is that we don't idolize men by the shit he says, but by the decisions that he makes. Mm -hmm. Cause even little brother told me, sometimes I think I'm from another world when I'm trying to tell a woman just exactly where I stand at. I want a girl when I want a girl. And when I don't want a girl, I want a girl who understands that. Mm -hmm. And that's some real shit. But now it's all bitches, hoes, and who smokes the most part. Which leads to stupid but catchy ass questions like, can you teach me how to jerk? <laughs> See, I have respect for the artist, but I have more respect for the art. Tupac, KRS-One, Rakim, see, them words came Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next time we bob our head to the beat like I know we all do, just remember we make hip-hop what it is. Don't let hip-hop make you. Yeah. Right.